Uh, he practices law in all aspects of intellectual property, including patents, trademark, copy law, uh, copyright law, um, including prosecution, corporate transactions, licensing, counseling, whatever you require. He's licensed to practice in the uh, United States Patent and Trademark Office and also the Court Appeals of uh, the Federal Circuit. However, with a patent, um, it's, it's a little bit more um, harder. They, we don't have an international patent. Um, you could file what we call a PCT application, which, would out, which you file one application and then you file, then designate different countries where you want to go into. Eventually, you have to respond to each country's patent office individually after a certain period of time. The only thing is, the only difference there is instead of you going individually, file individually, file one application, designate the countries you want to go into. The question is, is licensing easier than franchising? Um, based on conversation with Dan, I would say yes. <laughs> you don't have to go through all the paperwork, um, I guess you probably elaborate on your franchising experience. Um, the paperwork audited and other things that you have to go through. Licensing deal is just a contractual deal primarily. However, with a trademark, of course, you as a trademark owner would have to um, enforce some kind of quality control on whoever you're licensing it out to so that they pass on um, quality goods, not substandard goods, because then your mark would be harmed that way. <laughs> well, it, it, it depends on what you need. Um, again, this is why you like to consult, either talk to me after the, after this or talk to whoever later on, depending on what you need. For instance, I've had people come to me saying that they need a, um, a copyright, five trademarks and everything, and I talk to them and find out a little bit more about their business, what they're doing, what their projections are for the next five years, because strategically, you want to be able to focus on one particular, for instance, a trademark. Um, one particular trademark that you're going to build your brand around and so five years out your, your trademark would have accrued enough um, value so you know it's a matter of figuring out what your needs are and figuring out okay where do we start off from and where you are.